Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I am so excited to have this conversation. Today we're talking Destiny 2 with myself and Matt. And the biggest conversation that I have wanted to have about Destiny 2 since Matt got me into it uh, earlier this year was, are Exos people? I disagree that Exos are people. In fact, I think Exos are just really sophisticated computer programs because I don't think they have a soul. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you guys like this style of conversation, let me know down in the comments down below, and I look forward to interacting with all of you guys. And don't forget to not just let us know if you like the conversation, but join it. Give us your ideas. Tell us what you think. Am I wrong? Is Matt right? What are your thoughts on the Destiny lore? Thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With the Crazy. Here we go. All right, so I blame you for this topic because you're the one that begged for, you know, me and Convoy Bebop to... Uh, to, to play Destiny. And so we finally get into Destiny, Destiny 2. I don't feel like I begged. I feel like I it, just... Okay, it was poked. a loud whine. I feel like that's worse. <laughs> I feel like that's worse. <laughs> also disagree with that, but... <laughs> You're going to disagree with well. But anyway, so I get into some of the lore and I start looking at stuff. And uh, I didn't really gel with the first class that I tried out, which was the hunter class. And so I decided, well, if I'm going to do this, I might as well <clears throat> try to uh, uh, go for a class that I like. And I found the warlock class. And then when I'm making my warlock class, I chose the Exo to be a warlock because I found it ironic. And the reason that I found it ironic is because I essentially got a robot wizard. And I just, I find that ironic because when you think of, you know, warlocks and life energy and the things that make you go. And this also gets into like the deep lore of like what the hell the ghosts actually do. I was like, I don't think exos are people. Doggos, doggos are people. Exos, not people. And so... <laughs> That be right. that begs right. the question. We're just there. <laughs> we're just All right. there. We're, we're thirty seconds in. All right, we're, ju <laughs> we're, we're just there. As I hit my mic. Oh, um, that's, I that's just... Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We're just there. I all just right. I looked at it all and I thought, hmm. Exos as characters, and people are like, oh no, this is Anna Bray, and I'm like, no, it's not. Like, oh, this is, you know, Cade, but, you know, it's K6. Cause, and I'm like, no. Elsie. Or Elsie, yeah. No, Anna is the other one, right? The human one that died? Yeah. Yeah, that's or right. She's not I, dead. Is she? Not? No. Anyway. No. Either way, the Bray girls, whatever. But anyway. And then you have, you know, uh, Saint 14. And I look at them and they're like, oh, yeah, no. And 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 the, they're like, oh, they're able to transfer this person. And I'm like, no, but the, but the person died. All they transferred was a really, really like high res code of their brain scan over to this robot body. And I was like, so that's not a person to me. And that's not the same person. And the reason that's not the same person is because I believe that there's a life energy, like, you know, a soul that as far as I'm aware, Destiny Lore never transferred the soul over to the Nor body there. Should they ever touch on that? But No. But that's where I'm at, is XOs aren't people. Okay, guys, thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. I appreciate So I already win. I don't know why you're even... <laughs> I'm play baseball. It's right there. It's literally right there. I got baseball. Um, no, but no. In all actuality, the... Issues with our exos actually people is because we don't understand what the darkness actually did when Clovis Bray created the exos. When Clovis Bray did that, he tapped into the powers of the darkness, so he very well could have transferred the soul over to them through that. Because Elsie Bray behaved the same in her human body as she does in her exo body. She had the same <clears throat> motivations. She had the same drives. She had the same goals. She had the same personality. Same with Cade. The only time you start to see that waver is if they're rebooted too many times. 
And um, each time an EXO is rebooted or reborn, however you want to call it, is either when they A, die, or B, start to suffer from the, and I forget the term, but they start to just suffer from a discrepancy between what they perceive and the exo body they're in. That's why it's Saint 14. He has been rebooted 14 times. Mm -hmm. Age six, six times. Uh, the exo stranger, Elsie, does not have a designation, though I believe it's two. Um, if some of the lore I'm recalling correctly, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the that's why Banshee 44 is so high up there is because that meant that dude died 44 times 43 or, times or, or, well uh, you, yeah correct um and if you actually follow the lore it's because that's because he fell in battle 43 times to the vex mm -hmm. closing the and he was clovis up to that point uh, correct. And, and, and but he, and he but was he, intentionally wiped of his memories yeah on and the 44th time. and so the the thing that i i posit here is that a high like you know, an HD brain scan, or as what I would like to call it, a three-dimensional quantum computing brain scan. That's essentially what it is. But Does not equate to a soul, and just because you can impart the personality of a person does not mean that once you transfer that data over to this <clears throat> robot body, mean that they're the same i don't think that they're the same person you can call them by the same name but i don't think because i don't because i think that once that physical flesh and blood dies that person's over now you can name the robot after that person and that's cool but i just have a hard time believing that a computer is a person but you're still ignoring the darkness aspect no no there is the darkness aspect of it and I and I fully admit, but I'm also the person that says that the traveler doesn't, you know, inject the soul back into the body of uh, the guardians. The guardians. It simply reanimates a corpse and uses that corpse because again, they come back. They don't have any memories Memory. now. They can access though through so, the, the hardware, but I don't think. So, but, but Crow, with his moral struggle lately, with fighting from the memories of uh, Aldrin that Savathun gave him, and the, you know, current Well, but again, that's, and, again, that's what Savathun like his, gave his him. His nightmare this season was Aldrin. Yes. And yet he still refutes that. If he was just a carbon copy, if he was just the corpse of Crow, or of Aldrin, then that also would go against what we think of soul versus body, right? Because, you know, in Supernatural, you know, you had Soul of Sam. Mm -hmm. And it was very apparent early on that something was off with him. Mm -hmm. And the way he behaved, the way he talked, he didn't eat, he didn't sleep. You know, he basically, you know, hired prostitutes and killed monsters. That's That's what he did. Pretty much. Um, so obviously different stories are different stories, but, you know, I think there is a certain human understanding that if you're soulless, there's a certain amorality, a certain lack of empathy <clears throat> that Crow does not exhibit, that Elsie does not exhibit. Okay. So therefore, is it again, but are, are you imparted... arguing it's a really good copy of what, yeah. their morality it's a really good copy it's a really 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 good copy but again there's no transference of the actual so, person it's so only how, a, how do you define their free will because i feel like destiny actually covered this in the lore where the early the early exos would either completely go insane mm -hmm. or they just completely shut down they had no reference of themselves and they just turn into no because robots, because the programming yeah no because the programming is in is exceptionally good 
that's the thing is even the programming that would we know even the the software that we would know as the crow is still functioning on the hardware that it, although it may have come from Aldrin you know it's the same concept and the only reason that the crow knows anything about Aldrin is because Savathun injected him with he's, which which what we no, presume but he struggled but, but he struggled with the same motivations and he, the same impulses he not, prior not necessary okay that. and that His, is because storm, in the lore the ghosts will that. revive based off of character traits that they think they have and even the ghosts aren't sure if they're reviving the person or if it's a different thing altogether and they're just going off of this blueprint that they have i mean like even that's in the lore they don't actually say whether or not they bring the person back from the dead even the ghosts are confused on that one. And that is in the lore. I can't remember which one yes. it is. No, it is. It is but, but I brought it up. But again, you know, and so they have this idea of these character traits that they think that they should bring back. And so they just reanimate a corpse through whatever, you know, magical space wizardry that they do. And that I'm not even going to get into that. We just we just accept that that's a thing. You don't it's need to light. tear yeah. that is spas, magical yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. you it's don't light. need to it's get light. into every nitty gritty of of a of a thing. I just like to attack certain things. But no, but, I but, don't. But I and and the reason that I attack this is so because it's a really interesting concept like this, of like what makes a person a person. Is it so just by, the thought processes? Is it just the personality? Is it just the attitude? I would argue no. I would argue. That those things, although might be able to be transferred into a computer, they originated from something that is no longer there. The only thing I'm going to disagree with on is that you can, a, a computer program is no different than a um, human mind on a logical, you know, stimuli to reaction basis, right? Is that if certain stimuli trigger a certain reaction, that is all one-to-one -one, as far as we understand what isn't one-to-one -one is what the refutation of that reaction somebody points a gun at you you fight back mm -hmm. or you run but humans will appeal they will talk they will there's other reactions that are not necessarily animalistic and I think that if you were to transfer that, you could very much get the animalistic and the personality. You mentioned that they can transfer the personality. Same as we saw with Soul of Sam and same as you could argue with this. Oh, okay. is that so you could transfer the same logical processes, but the personality would not remain intact because the stimuli is not, different. So no, therefore, the fact that the stimuli is the same means that something somewhere is still guiding them to react. The no, same. and that's not inherently true. That's that that's one one. OK, so the soul of Sam argument I can refute on its premise is because we're talking about totally different franchises. Right. And we're using totally yeah. different lore. But it's, so, it's, but it, it, it's a similar it is, concept. It, it is a sim similar in concept, but the universes operate under two totally different premises. All right. All right. I'll let that one go. And so that's OK. But my idea here is that, yeah, OK, so you can transfer the programming into the body right the, into the exo body you can transfer this really high class sophisticated program this sophisticated uh idea and i think that the reason that you can potentially say in my argument is that we know that a lot of these exos when they were created started with the designation of one right right this exo dash one so it would cade one cade Regular died in his flesh and blood. Cade 1 was the first Exo, and then obviously he got reset, and then he's Cade 6. That's his designation. Cade, That's going against the lore where, you know, people go to, you know, the... I forget what they call it. It's the Deep Stone Crypt, but I forget the actual process, but they go into that, and they don't wake up as people and see a robot. No, they wake up in the Exo. Which yes. is where some of the problems came from, and there are firsthand accounts well, of that. They don't but, they don't go to sleep and see a robot. Well, okay, version so, of themselves. so there's a, so there's they a, wake up in that. So robot. there's a really interesting actually. If you've ever watched the show Invincible, there's a really really interesting idea here, and you have uh, the Mahler twins so, so is what it, they're called. It, it, no, it's no, a this is story. It's a different lore. Nope, nope. This is identical to what you're talking about. No, because you were talking about two totally different. Things. You're talking about. 
right, being transferred well, into the talking, body, well, and then they would no, no, no. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. So the Mahler twins. Well, I, this is an identical circumstances. This is identical to what you're talking about. So you're talking about they wake up and they're in the exo body and they just see themselves. There's no, there's no skip there, right? Like there's no, there, there's no understanding that they were from. And so, one of the things that the Mahler twins had is that there was an original at some point. But what they found out is they call themselves the twins is because one is always a clone, right? They're a perfect right. clone. But the thing is, is that. They are so identical, right, that when the other one wakes up, neither one of them, because, again, they're so identical, they have the same memories, neither one of them knows which one is actually the real one or the first one. I would argue that based off of the lore, neither one of them are. So when they wake up, they have no idea if they're the real thing or if they're just the program that was programmed into the meat bag, right? That, but and then so there should still this be goes the back, person version of it. But that, well, that can, the, the person version is probably dead in this but, universe. But in back here, keep, keep again, you're transferring a program. And so where, when, where the physical body dies and the exo body starts to become animated would be seemingly to the exo like nothing ever happened. But this person over here died. The body mind, is. You had, you, you had to be alive to become an exo. But you had to kill the body. Transfer the bind, but kill the body. And something makes that body run. And I mean, something makes that body run. Now we can argue that exos run off of electricity and some version of a power source. You could argue that human bodies run off of that too. Yeah, okay, so what's our power source? It's not a freaking battery. No, it's the food we eat, our brain activity, the electrical... Exos don't eat. That are coursing through us. Exos don't eat. Yeah, because they have an they, innate source They of simulate eating because, again, that otherwise programming the mind is, refutes Exactly, it. because the programming is hardwired to think that they are still flesh and blood, but they're not. And but so why when would that, that be a thing down, if they're not the same person? Because why would it, it's a program, and so you have to trick the program into thinking it's still the same thing. It's not an actual... Why would you have to trick it? Why couldn't you just all of a sudden go, oh, shit. I don't know. Why do you have to I trick want. it? Why do you have to trick it? But that's my point, is because if Clovis Bray, as brilliant as he was and evil as he was, just saw his exos and went, oh, shit, there's a zero out of place. Let me just uh, fix that real quick. He could have done it, but he couldn't. It took the darkness. Well, no, because to the human it. mind is incredibly complicated. We're, but we're, again, I'm not saying that the human mind itself, with all of its intricacies, wasn't transferred. I don't refute that point. I refute whether or not the essence of life itself was transferred. Because if the essence of life itself was transferred, I don't think that a simple hiccup in the programming of not recognizing the body and not reacting to the body would be so easily undone. And it is so easily undone because there's not, no essence of life there. It was not easily it undone. It was easily undone until you got some magical through space freaking magic. Spa yeah, through space. No, the space magic is what holds that programming together. There's a gap in the programming that the space magic fills, but there's no essence of life there. And I, I would argue so that there's... How do you, how do you argue the self-determination? How do you argue Banshee... Because, again, that, using that's all something that could was. be conscious thought. That's all something that could be conscious thought. We're arguing but, between but what, a conscious thought and the, the thing what, that is what life drives, itself. So how did Banshee, who was Clovis, look at his actions in the previous life because still come to the moral conclusion because how do you have moral conclusions from a computer because program? morality isn't necessarily derived from the source of life morality is derived from well one could argue morality is uh, in in large part derived from people's experiences and although that's not an argument i necessarily like to take but in this in the universe in the context of destiny the morality that they're going for is definitely not one of God, because we've completely ruled that out. But the morality here is the morality of instances and what makes, you know, be what's better for society. And then one could say that's what societal morality is, is that which advances society and which helps people and creates, 
you know, right. culture and art and things like that. And again, I'm just all I'm arguing is that the essence of life itself was never stipulated to be transferred. And so thusly, they're robots, not people. They're highly advanced robots with some space magic sprinkled in. But so, not a person. Mia Copa on this one because the lore <laughs> actually backs you on this one. <laughs> if you look at the, uh, I've been playing devil's advocate trying to, you know, <laughs> poke holes. If you actually read the lore of Banshee, he had the, there, there are three Clovis's active at a given time. You have the human one, mm -hmm. you have the AI and you have Banshee. The, the, the war mind one, right? The, the big head. Yeah. The big head. The, yeah. 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 And all of them behave differently. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. And and if you were to, say, transfer the soul of a person, you'd think they'd all behave the same, right? They'd have the same drives, the same ambitions. But Banshee, with his stimuli, I do remember behaves that. differently than the AI, which has its stimuli and behaves differently. And then you have Clovis himself, who is, dies. Pretty and slow and painful and lonely, if I remember correctly. Now that you, uh, he was basically on his deathbed when those two yeah. were created. But um, no, if Clovis himself was able to be transferred perfectly into Banshee, which was the intent, soul, mind, everything, then Banshee would not have had a difference in character the way that. Well, yeah, but that's himself. Banshee. We obviously don't know much about the uh, uh, some of the other EXOs, and I would even argue some of the other Guardians. But, but, that, but I, that's I, my I would like to extend no. this point to the Guardians to it, but that's a later... That's We're, we're already... It's a later... Uh, we're yeah. already way over, but that's... Uh, and honestly, I've been sitting here trying, but ultimately with that lore tidbit, the fact that Banshee is fundamentally different than Clovis. Totally forgot from about a, that. I remember that. I remember listening. Morality and behavioral standpoint would oh. indicate that it is different. He is Clovis as he should be. He is Clovis as he was, but it's not Clovis's soul. It's not Clovis's identity. It is a different being. And so while they might be very close facsimiles, I actually do have to agree with you, buddy. I think they are. I would argue that they are life, but they are not the same life. Mm -mm. Oh, now we have to get into what is a life, and that's for a later conversation. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one, you did you did a dirty there, and I didn't like that because <laughs> you were like, I agree with you, and I was just like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that you're agreeing <laughs> with me. That's not how this show is structured. We've talked about this, and then uh, and then you're like, but, and then you throw <laughs> that out there. So uh, yeah, screw you. Um, and what do you guys think down in the comments below? Let us know what you guys think. Uh, these are conversations that we like to have. We love going after uh, movies, TVs, video games, uh, you know, pop culture in general, just from different angles because, well, we're dumb. And I, you know, you hear the same talking points over and over and over, and we have honestly worked to try to just not rehash the same talking points that a lot of people have rehashed before and so we like to kind of nitpick and take out the tidbits of stuff but let us know what you guys think in the comments down below are exos people what would be your argument for it against it do you guys know more lore than we do i mean i definitely don't i had to take in like eight years of destiny lore, lore in like a month and a half lore daddy if you want to chime in please who lore daddy lore daddy oh god yeah um yeah, bye. That'd be great. But let us know what you guys think. And if you guys like what we're doing here, how we're constructing our conversations, hit the like button. And if you really like what you're doing, like what we're doing, share it. Please share it with your friends because that's the only way that we can grow is with your guys' help. And we're just, we've had these conversations for a long time and I had the harebrained idea, hey, Maybe let's just record these conversations because we obviously think they're interesting. Thomas, Maybe somebody else. Years will. ago, buddy, we've been taking a while. We've been taking a bit of a break. Yeah, we took Actually, a, it was more. Yeah, we took a bit of a break. We started this. Twenty twenty. We started in twenty twenty. Well, this version, yeah. Yeah, this version of it. But yeah. anyway. Anyway. Let us know what you guys think. And until next time, we'll see you right here on Drink with Crazy. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.